everybody and welcome back to a new video well the last time you have seen me building the spongebob uh, yeah, 12 liter nano aquarium and today is time for planting so uh, the tank is still uh, full with water so let's start draining the tank we just turned the heater off and the filter it's very important because we are going to drain the tank as you might see there already are some little plants in there uh, that is just because I had to wait for the plants to arrive. Uh, Denelaer Plants has sponsored uh, me a lot of plants so let me guys show you what I've got and let's make a choice. These are the plants that Denelaer Plants has sent me. Uh, yeah, as you might see there are a lot of in vitro but we also have some normal uh, uh, potted plants, some, some Eleocharis uh, etc. So we got some mosses, um, Elecaris posila, so this is the dwarf hairgrass. We got mosses, um, yeah, a lot of different type of plants that we have. Uh, also some new versions that I never tried. So this is the Heteranthera sesterifolia, sesterifolia. I don't know exactly the name, but it's a it's a really nice and cool plant. I never used that one before, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, also with the Utricularia graminifolia, so this is uh, yeah. A really hard plant to uh, build yeah build scapes with so I'm quite excited uh, we also have some mosses over here some Ricardia mosses all the way up to the back uh, Leolopsis brasiliensis some uh, Bucephalandras um, let's see what is that uh, Sturgeon reaper is a really nice plant as well um, other Bucis so we got a lot of plants and varieties varieties over here the tank is ready to be planted so what are we going to use uh, I've chosen some really nice plants from Dunlap plants so we're going to use uh, them and uh, we also had some uh, leftover plants from the old tank behind me so uh, let's start planting if we have the uh, in vitro plants just like this it's just very easy just open the that we open the like this and we can easy take the plants out of the liquid then we put this away then we can start draining the plants in a little bit of water just to rinse the liquid off and then we can start peeling it apart and easily just tear up off a little bit of that and then you can easily plant this in the aquarium. So I'm going to use the uh, tweezers. These are the tweezers from Planted Box. Uh, yeah, I really like them a lot. I got uh, different varieties of them. Dwarf hairgrass in the aquarium. planting part is done uh, I think the tank looks really really nice now it's time to place this nano tank uh, on the shelf and fill it up mm -hmm. 